Hello Year 9, welcome to this lesson on series and parallel circuits as part of our electrical circuits topic. Okay, so the schedule for this lesson is as follows. We're going to look at some starter questions for you. Okay, those are on the starter um, on Padlet as well. Then we're going to look at a re quick review of series and parallel circuits. Okay, we're going to look at, um, at why series and parallel circuits are used, some applications for them, um, some how, what, um, circuits alter depending on how we combine the cells and then there'll be some practice questions okay so here's your starter questions the recall questions based on our last couple of lessons so pause the video and have a go at these questions okay now you can check your answers let's see how you got on and let's move on okay so we've got here first of all two circuits a series and parallel and i want you to think about first of all how is the current different between these two circuits so just pause the video just take a couple of minutes just to think about what you would say about this how you would describe the current in these two circuits so what we would say in the series circuit over here is that the current is the same all the way around this path there's one path transferring current around so we would say that the current is the same everywhere okay that would be our, th our main observation about series circuits here's our parallel circuit over here though so what's different about the current here well what we know about current in a um, parallel circuit is that the current is not the same everywhere it is split okay it's split between the different branches so that's one observation that we should have picked up first of all okay we're going to look at that in a bit more detail and what we also know is that the sum of all of those branches okay equals the total current and let's look at that in a bit more detail so let's assume that I've got uh, an ammeter placed here okay it's given me a current reading I1 okay then I've got ammeters reading the current at various different points I've got one here let's call it I2 I've got one on this branch here let's call it I3 one here which is I4 and finally one down here which is I5 okay now what we can see is that I1 is splitting so the current that's here is splitting between at this junction between I2 and I3 okay and then I3 itself is splitting again into I4 and I5. So what we can say is that I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. Okay, we can see that from this part of the circuit. I1 is equal to these two added together. But equally, I3 is equal to I4 plus I5. Okay. So we can simplify that even further and say that actually I1 is going to be equal to I2 plus I4 plus I5. Okay, so I4 plus I5 is this one. I2, that goes there. I2 added to that gives us the total current of I1. Okay, now let's think about the potential difference. So this is that's talked about the current. Let's think about the potential difference in these two circuits. So just pause again and have a think what you would say about the potential difference across these two circuits. Okay, so we can say that the potential difference in a series circuit is split, isn't it? Okay, so if we remember from our work already, is 
this time the potential difference is split between components okay and it equals the sum across the battery so if for example my battery here is 4.5 volts and let's assume all things being equal these are the same bulbs that potential difference is going to be split equally between them okay and we would have 1.5 volts across each three of those bulbs so that's in a series circuit now in a parallel circuit we know already that that's different okay we know that instead the potential difference here is the same in every branch okay and it's also the same as the battery so again if my potential difference here is 4.5 volts then my potential difference according to that rule will be the same at each point okay so I would expect these bulbs to be brighter than these bulbs because they're having more potential difference across them now we can use our V equals IR equation to calculate resistance at various points and that's uh, but we'll come on to that in a later lesson okay so take notes down that from anything there that you need to here's your independent task however so I'd like you to copy and complete this table using the text below so fill in the gaps in the table with the correct statements pause the video and have a go okay now check your work okay so let's think about applications of series and parallel circuits okay now I want you to look at these two circuits and think about what would happen to the brightness of the lamps if another lamp was added to these circuits okay so if I added another lamp in series or in parallel what would happen so pause again have a little think so in our series circuit if I added another bulb in here another lamp what would happen is there would be a decrease in brightness okay a decrease in brightness now why would that happen well there, that's because there would be an increase in resistance we would have more resistance in the circuit okay and therefore if there's more resistance there'd be a reduction in current okay I'm just going to put as resistance would increase and therefore current would decrease okay and also of course the potential difference is being split across more components okay so therefore what's going to happen is these the, the lamps themselves are going to have fewer electrons passing through them therefore they're going to have less energy per coulomb so therefore their brightness is going to reduce how does that differ in a parallel circuit well okay if I add another lamp in here sorry that was a very wiggly line imagine that's a straight wire I've got another lamp in here now remember my potential difference is the same across all of these lamps there's no change okay so therefore what's going to happen is the lamps are going to remain the same okay now there's lots of reason why that okay but basically what happens is 
the total resistance we'll come on to this in a later lesson in a bit more detail but total resistance is going to decrease okay there's an extra path remember there's an extra route for that current to flow okay so now instead of the current having to be split between three branches it can be split between four branches so the total resistance in the circuit can reduce okay remember that potential difference is the same in each branch okay there's now more current in the circuit um, there's the same potential difference as, as I said across each therefore there's a constant energy and the brightness remains the same okay so those are our key differences between parallel and series circuits okay so in independent task for you again so I'd like you to copy and complete these sentences using the words that I've put down here below okay some of the words may be used more than once or some might not be used at all okay so pause the video and have a go at this task okay now check your work oh dear me that's not very good at all is it let's work through this and explain what's happening so this word should be increases and decreases potential difference across each lamp of the lamps increases this means that the lamps oh, sorry <laughs> increases decreases this means that the lamps all become dimmer okay so decreases and dimmer when we add another lamp into a parallel circuit in a new branch the total resistance decreases and the current through each lamp is the same also the potential difference across each of the lamps is the same these means that the lamps have the same brightness okay so apologies that that's uh, not very accurate okay last thing we look at is combinations of cells so we can combine cells uh, in series or parallel to change the potential difference in the circuit so let's look at these two examples here we've got first of all it's series here okay so in series here we've got two cells two one volt cells two one volt batteries in series okay and then we know that normal series circuit result rules apply which means that we add the potential difference for each okay to get the total voltage so total voltage or total potential difference okay is going to be two volts so that's the total voltage around the circuit now in parallel that's slightly different okay here I've got two cells I've got a three volt and a three volt okay in parallel now in normal parallel circuit rolls remember the PD is the same in each branch okay um, and therefore our total is also the same as well so it equals three volts okay so we have three volts in is the total potential difference around this circuit even though those two batteries are offering three volts in each branch okay so it's a little thing just to kind of bear in mind as we go through the next few lessons okay so like your independent task um, next is to answer these questions below okay so pause the video and have a go at these check your answers and now your last practice task is to complete the practice worksheet of questions to consolidate your understanding and your teacher may choose um, may ask you to go through these at the end of today's lesson okay so that's it for today and I look forward to seeing you next time